In this video, we're going to talk about how your sound gets from your microphone or instrument through your interface and into your speakers. We call this signal flow. It involves some very basic theory in how sound works and how computers deal with sound. Understanding how this works will help you demystify the idea of using computers as musical instruments. We start with a sound, any sound in the world. At the most fundamental level, sound is vibrating air. A microphone works by picking up these extremely small air vibrations and by converting them into a very small electrical signal. This electrical signal goes down the microphone cable and into the interface. Because this signal is so tiny, about five hundredths of a volt, it needs to be amplified or made louder to a point where it's more easily used by your interface. This is called a preamplifier, or preamp for short, because it comes before everything else in the signal chain. Every audio interface with inputs has a preamp for each input, and every input that looks like this XLR style input will usually have a mic preamp. Next in the signal chain comes the analog to digital converter, or ADC, and this does exactly what it says. It converts an analog electrical signal and converts it to zeros and ones so your computer can use it digitally. There are lots and lots of zeros and ones in sound, over 700,000 bits per second. Once the signal becomes digital, it goes up your USB or Firewire cable and into your computer, where before anything it gets processed by your operating system, Mac or Windows. You don't need to know the specifics of this at this stage, but they ultimately do the same thing and sound exactly the same. For Mac, it's core audio. For Windows, it's commonly ASIO or MME DirectX drivers. This is all stuff which is hidden from the user. All you really need to know is that when you're selecting your driver type in Live's audio preferences, make sure you have one of these selected. Then the operating system gives Live the audio. At this early stage, the main points you need to know about how the signal flow of audio works in live are these. First, sound comes into live via an audio track. The first point where you can see this activity is on an audio track's input metering. Secondly, sound input to a track can pass through effects. An audio track can host effects, which are called devices in live. These devices can change the sound in many ways, and the audio signal on a single track is passed through each of these effects in order, one after the other, the sound being affected by one device at a time in the chain. A track can also have no device.